Hi, uh, my name is Lynn Green, um, and we're here today at Lynn Green Interiors, and we're going to do a little walkthrough um, a Hunter Douglas Gallery, um, and we're going to try to address some of the many questions that people have. Um, you know, I remember when I was little, I think we had one kind of shade, and that was a Venetian blind, and um, I can remember my brother and I hossing around in the bedroom, and I pulled on the string, and the blind came down and hit me in the head, so, so uh, we're going to be going over some of the common questions. We're going to be talking about child safety and um, we have everything on display so that we can kind of demonstrate things and answer people's questions and try to address some of the most common questions in shading today. Hi, I'm Jackie and this is Lily and we're here at Lynn Green Interiors at the Hunter Douglas Gallery. One major concern I had when I found out I was pregnant was the safety and well-being of my baby. Um, an important fact to think about when you're planning on the baby's nursery. Um, so one thing to consider are the shades and blinds for the baby's nursery. And as you can see, they're very curious at pulling on strings. So one way to eliminate the strings is to go with the Light Rise, Hunter Douglas Light Rise shades that are cordless and go up and down just with the hand. Um, Another option is the remote control option, which we have here. And you press the button, and the shade will go up. What do you think about that? <laughs> Another option is the shutters. The shutters are wooden. Um, you just tilt the slats and you can open the panels if you want to get to your window. Again, there's no cords. It's magnetic catches for when you want to shut the panel. And you just rotate the louvers and there's no cords and they're safe for kids and also for your pets. So if you think about when you're not home, what your pets get into, it's the same thing. Hi, can I help you? Hi, uh, yes. My name's Susan. I just bought a new home in Burlington. Uh -huh. um, and I have a lot of big windows, and I'm not sure what to do with them all. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start maybe, you know, the kids' bedroom. I definitely need something blackout. Okay. Um, and, you know, I For do like the and... top down, bottom up application. If you okay. Have sure. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, um, probably one of the best blackout um, shades in the industry would be the um, Duet shade. Um, so this is Duet Arcatella right here, which is, um, this particular one happens to be light filtering. Um, it's extremely insulative because it has a cell inside the cell, which really helps with insulation if you had any drafty windows or anything. You can pick a color from the inside, but it's always white. Um, it's always, except for this one, this is the Meritage. Um, it generally can be white from the street. So if you have any bylaws or, um, you know, within the community where you have to show white from the street. So the blackout version of that is, uh, let's see, it's over here. Um, so it has kind of a, a separate mylar inside the chamber and that's actually what blocks the light. Um, you will get a little bit of spray and this particular one, um, this is, has a channel on the sides for um, windows. We use them a lot in condos where there might be uh, metal framing and the glass doesn't quite, the glazing might be gone in a few spots. So this channel on either side right here helps with um, heat loss, so this is an energy efficiency shade right here. Uh, with children, a lot of people, some of their main concerns is cords because of the danger, so this particular shade has what we call light rise, and so that means that it's um, a stringless application for the shades. Also, a lot of people like it because the honeycomb or duet shade um, has the smallest stack in the industry of all the shades, so a lot of people now really like when they're not, baby's not napping, they like all the light to come into the room. 
Uh, what do you think of the duet shades? Um, I like them. I mean, I feel like they've kind of been around for a long time. What are the, uh, yeah. you know, they've kind of, I'm just seeing them everywhere. I mean, yeah. people doing them in their house, is it enough? I mean, I'm like something a little more decorative, I think. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, sometimes when people are doing a whole house, we might do um, a combination of different products. Um, so some rooms, people might like to keep it simpler with a duet shade. And then we have some other options. So all of these are different options for the cellular shades. This is the retractable cord system right here. And again, you know, you have the light rise right here. But as we move over, um, also I should tell you just in case um, if you had any sliders, we can now do the duet. Um, they take the material and they railroad it and they may actually made what they call a vertiglide. So this is um, very durable. It looks very soft and light and airy, but it's actually a very durable product with children and pets. Um, so this can be a one-way draw or it can be a split draw if you want to have fabric on either side. So that's an option right there. This right here, of course, the duet can have the top down, bottom up feature. So it can lower from the top here and also you can see it um, right here. So this is the retractable cord system. So you can see how the the rail lowers from the top. So that's a great top down bottom up product. So as we kind of move over here, um, a, lot of, um, a lot of people are doing the wood blind product. Um, so these are the wood blinds right here. Um, some people use decorative tapes with the wood blinds. This particular blind has, um, you know, the really pretty decorative tapes. And the decorative tapes also cover the light holes. But because not everybody wanted to do decorative tapes but didn't want the light holes, um, Hunter Douglas basically came out with what they call a D-light feature. So on this blind, right down here, you can see they actually back punch the slats. They added a few extra slats and they back punched them and they were able to get rid of um, the traditional routing holes that a regular wood blind has. So a lot of our clients really like that because sometimes that spray of light hits the TV or is just enough to keep the kids awake when you're trying to get them to go down for a nap or something. So um, another product that is also room darkening really is um, the shutter product. So this right here, they make shutters for French doors. You can mount them right on the French doors. They make them in a bypass system for sliders now. Um, so you can actually slide these over one on top of the other. Um, the wood blinds and the shutter products give a kind of a very architectural look with the crown moldings and different things that are out now. This right here is probably our most popular shutter. This is called New Style. And this one has a rear tilt bar. You can actually see the bar in the back here. Um, and it's nice because it gives kind of a really clean, kind of more modern look to the shutters. And we do a lot of these in bathrooms because you can actually have this section open and fixed and you can have this section of the shutter closed. Um, so there's three types of shutters from Hunter Douglas. There's vinyl, which you can actually do inside a shower with stainless steel hinges. There's the new style, which is um, composite. And then there's the 100% uh, wood. So Hunter Douglas uses a basswood, which is one of the strongest, tightest grain woods that there is on the market. So, um, also then we have some things you mentioned. Some of the windows you might want something a little bit more decorative, mm -hmm. a little bit more fabricy. Um, yeah, probably for like the living and dining room, dress it up a little bit with something. Um, sure. You know, with a little more fabric. I was yeah. thinking of. So that might bring us into the vignette category. Um, which is over here. 
So this right here is um, the vignette shade from Hunter Douglas. And um, this one has light rise, uh, again, so you don't have to worry about cords with your children and everything. And um, do you have pets too? Or? Yeah, I have a dog. You have a dog? Okay. So um, again, it's white from the street. And then you can do the color inside. And then this is just so pretty. It has a nice small profile on the head rail. Um, and then this kind of cascades down for a nice little decorative look. And this comes in all different color fabrics and different type patterns and everything. So this is vignette tiered right here. And then this is the vignette tailored behind it, which comes in the flat folds. Um, again, this one doesn't have light rise yet. We always like to say yet because Hunter Douglas is always improving and bringing different things in. Um, so this one's very tailored looking and this one has kind of a linen-y look to it, a little bit of slubbing that kind of comes through and gives it kind of a, a nice look. Um, so I'm going to bring you up here and I'd like to show you maybe for your living room, dining room, one of the most popular products we have which is the silhouette category. So uh, why don't we take a walk up these stairs. So um, a lot of times with um, living rooms and dining rooms, people want something a little bit more formal, especially if it faces the front of the house and maybe they want a little privacy during the day and sun protection for their furniture when they're not home. So this is the silhouette category. Uh, it's a little bit dressier and uh, as you can see, it's two pieces of flat sheer material and then there's a fabric vein that is inside. Mm -hmm. And um, this is 100% polyester and it's meant to just sit in your window, protect your furniture and walls and rugs and, and accessories and stuff from fading. Um, one of the child safety features now, they've added light rise to this which is really nice. You can just put that up and down without any strings or anything um, to have to be concerned with. The silhouette category comes in three different vein sizes. Um, this is the three inch here. This is the four inch here. And um, underneath we have the two inch slat. So the fewer slats, the better the viewing is through the silhouette. So as time goes on, people like more and more view as far as being able to see out through the window. So with the silhouette, it can be gone up off the window totally. Um, this kind of simulates a tree outside. <laughs> um, or it can be down and it can be closed for privacy or it can be down and open in the sheer position. So what do you think of the silhouette? Um, it's good. Do they have anything like this for a bedroom? Do they come blackout? Yes, well, it's funny you should ask. Um, actually, um, April 1st, Hunter Douglas just came out with, one of the problems with the silhouette is, as you can see, there's a spray of light that gets lighter and lighter as the shade gets to the bottom. The slats open up a little bit more. So actually, Hunter Douglas just came out with the silhouette ado. So it's a traditional silhouette in the front. And actually, you can see there's a blackout liner underneath. So you can see the liner underneath this. Mm -hmm. So it's like a flat roller shade. So during the day you can have the you can have the liner uh, be up so you can have the light coming in. Um, so on this particular application the head rail is a little bit longer because there's actually two rolls in here. One of the traditional silhouette and one of the room darkening liner that's underneath. So um, we're doing a lot of these in bedrooms and they've been very effective as far as, you know, if people have problems sleeping and they want the room darkening feature and stuff. These come in different colors, several different textures, and actually they actually railroaded the material and turned it on its side and it can be used now for sliders, which is called the Luminette product. And when we get around the corner of the store, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so these are the, all the different silhouette categories right here and you can kind of play with them if you want to and see what you think about the colors and textures. Yeah, you just kind of have to kind of... Top down, bottom up? 
Um, actually, Silhouette does come top down, bottom up, but there's a lot of restrictions with the top down, bottom up. It has to be only mounted inside your window, um, and it only goes to um, a limited specification as far as the width goes. But this is the top down, bottom up product right here. And um, one of the nice features about this is that it can tilt anywhere. So if you look at this shade, um, you can have it kind of halfway down. So we do like to tell people you have to have a, a headrail here at the top and there's a middle headrail and also a bottom headrail. Um, but people that like it really love the product. Um, so you can actually close the slats at any position and this is the only silhouette shade that you can open and close the slats at any position. So again, this is, um, it only comes in the three inch slat, um, so it is a little bit more limited. Um, and then, um, like I said, it has to be mounted inside your casing. So for my dining room windows, I think the window is too tall, I won't be able to reach. So do they have cords for these or is it yes. just the power eyes off? Yeah, actually this right here, this is the retractable cord system right here. This is called click and walk away, and I didn't do it very smoothly on that one. Let me try it again. Uh, it's brand new lifting system from Hunter Douglas, so this actually, you just kind of click it and you walk away. So, um, this right here never gets any longer than what you see right here when you pull it, so that's a child safety feature um, that you don't have some type of a long cord. And then the traditional cord system is this rotary cord right here. So, if I wanted to stop it, it's bad. Yeah, you can just kind of click it in any position. And then you can have the standard cord control, which is this right here, which is the rotary cord. And of course, all these cords have to be fixed to your window casing, because again, that's a child safety feature. What do you think about the silhouettes? Yeah, I think they're really nice. I like yeah. that you can uh, still have your view out, mm -hmm. and have something there for privacy. Um, because the benefit of having large windows is being able to let the light come in. Yeah. So that's a nice feature, but still not feeling like you're in a fishbowl. Yeah. And be able to see out. Yeah. Do you think they're dressy enough for your living room or dining room? Yeah, I don't think I would even need to do a top treatment or uh, draperies on the side. Yeah, a lot of people don't. A lot of people do just the silhouette because they're so beautiful just by themselves. Now, my woodwork's white, but my wall color is like probably similar to the wall color in here, like a beige color. What yeah. would you usually recommend? Uh, would you want to do a color or would I stick with the white? Well, I'd say probably about 85% of people stay with white because they feel like it's neutral and if they change their paint color, then they don't have to change their silhouette because they are an investment. Um, so I'd say probably 85 to 87% people go white. Um, sometimes we have people that come in and they want to do like a bronze or a gold or something like that. Um, and, um, you know, so you could coordinate it with your wall color if you wanted to. Um, do you think you'd be changing your wall color over time? Or? Well, we just moved in, so I can't think about changing the wall color now. But yeah. Maybe eventually. Yeah. Um, I would want to. Yeah. And it's nice, some of them have some texture. Um, yeah. And then some are very plain. Yeah, and, and one thing you should keep in mind, the more texture, the less view through. Oh, yes. Um, so the sheerer, you know, the plainer they are, the sheerer they are, the more view that you get through. So, you know, if the kids are out playing in the front yard and you want to be able to see. And I have the silhouettes in my living room, dining room, and I love them. And generally, a lot of people ask us, you know, well, you know, how can I clean these shades? And um, so when, if you purchase the silhouettes through us, we give you what we call a Camille wand and it, it kind of traps, you know, so you can just kind of slide it in and clean anything out. Uh, but these can be cleaned by the on-site method, which we do. We service blinds and clean them as well. So it's a machine that comes in and it vacuums off the silhouette. We shoot a heated hydrogen peroxide solution into the shade and it's sucked back out. And they come out beautiful. They really do. They come out, they get rid of all the dust mites. And, you know, we've had, you know, um, we've actually had a client in Maine that had a furnace puffback. 
um, and we were it was one of the few things she didn't have to replace because we were able to get all the residue from the oil out so so they really clean up very well. Hi, um, my name is Lynn Green with Lynn Green Interiors. We have a decorating um, studio and a Hunter Douglas Gallery in Burlington, Massachusetts. And we're here today at the Newbridge uh, Condominiums uh, it's um, a place in Woburn, Massachusetts, right off uh, the major highway, so the location is really convenient. A lot of people that are moving in here are actually downsizing from larger family homes and also coming out from the city uh, to, to make things more convenient and um, kind of a brand new lifestyle. Um, as you can notice from behind me, one of the prettiest features of this building is the windows. Um, every unit on this side of the building has this beautiful rotunda with ceiling to floor windows. And because there's so many windows in here, one of the difficult things is furniture placement. So um, as you notice, um, the clients here have placed their furniture, which a lot of the clients in this building have, right in front of the windows. So of course the first challenge is the direct sunlight, although today it's pouring out, uh, so you can't really tell, but there's a lot of direct sunlight that comes through these windows. So um, our clients here today are gonna install some silhouette shading, which are beautiful, soft, um, they actually filter the light, and these shadings are gonna protect their beautiful off-weight furniture from all the harmful rays of the sun bleaching out the furniture. So um, we wanted to show you the before, and as you can see, these windows, uh, whoops, these windows have beautiful transoms, um, and um, some of the clients here have opted to leave the transoms open, and some of our clients are closing up the transoms with their shadings. So I want to point out the beautiful 10-foot ceilings. This is the third floor at the New Bridge, and on the third floor they have 10-foot ceilings. Um, the first and second floor have 9-foot ceilings. Um, the third floor actually has transom windows. These are the smaller windows with the squares above. Uh, so you can see the beautiful amount of light, tremendous view, but also like any well-lit place and lots of windows presents themselves with a lot of challenges. So today we're going to be installing Hunter Douglas window uh, silhouette shading. Um, and the nice thing about the silhouettes is it's 100% polyester material, which is one of the strongest materials in direct sunlight. They've been tested in uh, Arizona and areas that have a lot more heat and sun than we have around here. Um, so their job, the silhouettes are just going to sit here and filter the light because you can see um, the room with all the windows is challenging about furniture placement. So this particular building, the front of this building, has southern exposure. You can't really tell today because it's pouring and raining out, uh, which is good for the cameras actually. Um, so the silhouette's job is to just sit in the window. The 100% polyester material is going to help protect their furniture from fading. It, it helps cut down on about 98% of the UV uh, rays from the sun. So also they can close them in the evening for privacy and then they can also retract completely up in the headrail. So if it's a cloudy day and they want some great light phototherapy, um, then they can have that as well. A lot of people that are moving in here are downsizing from larger homes uh, and one of the big challenges in this particular unit, um, the great news is that they have this beautiful wall of windows here. Um, one of the challenges that that presents is an open floor plan with a lot of windows really doesn't have much wall space for television and furniture placement is one of the challenges. So today the homeowner, I'd like to show you, the homeowner here has had their uh, television rewired to um, 
eliminate a whole piece of furniture, which would be the TV cabinet that the television was on. It's placed above the mantel here. All the wiring is done through the walls, and they have installed some shelving units over here for the cable box and all the components to the television. Um, some people are uh, worried um, when they put the television above there that it's going to be uh, just one location so you can purchase an arm where you can you can turn your television you can uh, rotate it up and down at different angles and so the nice thing is you can see the TV uh, from every direction so uh, Sharon the homeowner was really smart in what she did um, she waited till the TV was mounted and then she decided to move the furniture around she's used a lot of the pieces from her home so the good news is that her son is going to get a brand new television cabinet <laughs> and um, now Sharon, the homeowner, is going to go out and purchase two really comfortable chairs because you can see the furniture that was in this room is from their home in their formal living room. So they're going to go with something a little bit more comfortable because now this is their everything room, both their formal living room and their family room and the whole entertainment hub of the house. Hi, um, today we're here at the New Bridge, a um, condominium and townhouse development in Woburn, Massachusetts. And um, we, we have my son Paul, who we call Duke, um, installing the window treatments here for uh, the Silhouette window shading um, product. So if you notice, these windows, the transom above the window itself is all one piece, and it's a solid piece of um, plastic or special molded material. So um, you're not allowed to drill into this material because you'll break the seal and you'll uh, null your warranty on the window. So what we've done here, because our clients would like the windows mounted, the window treatments mounted below the transoms, is we have to put in what they call a floating header. So the floating header is actually a piece of steel. Um, that this is going to become our support system. It's, it's pretty heavy, actually. There's some good weight to this. So this is going to be installed. Right now, my son is putting the brackets into the side so that you can stabilize the whole window. And the floating header is going to slide into these brackets. And um, this is going to be the support system for the shade. So the side windows don't need it because um, the span is, is fairly narrow. But over a certain size, uh, the floating header is a wonderful invention. I'm not even sure. Do you know who invented it, Duke? It was an old drapery installer. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. An old drapery installer invented it. Who shall remain nameless today, I guess. So um, this is going to be the support system that we can drill our brackets into um, so that this shade is going to be stabilized. Uh, is a new lifting system. This is the click and walk away. Um, notice how the chain falls down and it opens itself when it reaches the sill. This is a good child safety shaving because there's no cord loop involved or things to drop there. Notice how he's retracting the cord. It's a retractable cord and you pull it out at an angle slightly and down. <laughs> 